if you know who and how somebody is, then you can't get mad when they show you exactly who they are. Sammy Watkins, I feel for him too, but it should be no surprise. The Packers, they placed Sammy Watkins on injured reserve. He's dealing with a hamstring injury. So he'll be out at least the f next four games. Um, but this is, has been a pattern throughout his career, uh, the injuries. Of course, Ravens fans all remember last year what Sammy dealt with, with the injuries and whatnot. And it's just, that's his pattern. Talented player. Could make all the catches in the world, but the injuries just, they always take him out for chunks of the season. Um, so hopefully he can get that all cleared up. Um, but Packers is, is important because I know they got Watson and, and Dobbs and whatnot. So they tried to cover it. So we'll see how it works out for them. But this will be an opportunity for the young guys to really get their shine on. Um, another thing. Have y'all played the, the Pro Air game on the Oculus? Man, I, I love it, man. I love it so much, man. Because um, I, I love Madden. Madden's cool. But the Pro Air, I feel like the, with the Pro Air game, it's like, y'all remember what 2K, NFL 2K was trying to do some years ago when they put you in the helmet? But with it being like virtual reality, and you could look all around, like I'm, I'm like, I'm playing a game. I'm having fun doing handoffs to J.K. Dobbins. I'm over here having fun. I'm over here patting my different offensive linemen on and helping and stuff. I'm like, hey, good job, good protection. I, I love that game so much, and I ain't even played a regular season game yet. I only played the little intro where you got to complete the pass to Mark Andrews. It took me like four or five tries. Uh, and then I did practice mode, but I, I love it. Oh, yeah, and I did a, uh, some kind of like little throwing challenge, too. That game is so much fun. If you ever get a chance to play it, please do. If you got an Oculus Rift, please get it. It's, it's worth it. And it's only like $30, I think. We are not sponsored by them whatsoever. I wish we were, but we're not. But, yeah, it's real. Anyway, a um, couple of updates uh, for the Ravens. Um, Ronnie Stanley. Ronnie Stanley is officially out uh, against the New England Patriots. I, myself, I thought, like, hey, th this could be the week. He'd been practicing for a couple of weeks and whatnot. I'm like, okay, th here we go. This could be it. But, nope. No Ronnie Stanley yet. And see, the, the, the thing about that is that with Ronnie Stanley, um, John Harbaugh, every time he talks about Ronnie Stanley, it's like, it's like what the, the Eric DaCosta did uh, with Lamar Jackson uh, when, when it came to the contract talks early this offseason. He was like, hey, the ball's in his court. Hey, Lamar knows where to reach me at. Lamar knows my number. He can give me a call. When he's ready to talk, we'll talk. But the ball's in his court. So Eric DeCosta continued to throw it to Lamar Jackson. And John Harbaugh, whenever he speaks about Ronnie Stanley, there are a lot of similarities. Same thing. Hey, it's up to him. Whenever he feels like being out there, whenever he feels his best, because he keeps commending him like, hey, well, he looks like he's in the best shape that he's ever been in. Um, and it's like, okay, well, if, if he looks like he's in the best shape that he's ever been in, but he's still not out there. And not that you want him to rush. Because, again, this dude, his ankle and all that got torn into a million pieces. Um, so, and, and it, it was a process, obviously, because he tried to do the rehab. And it's like, ah, oh, no, no rehab. Then they did the surgery. Uh, and this has been an issue with him for a, a while now, uh, as far as his ankle issue. So you want to make sure he comes back right, especially... Especially since you have you have so much invested in him. I've, I've seen a lot of different uh, takes uh, from a lot of different Ravens fans on Ronnie Stanley. And I can understand where they're all coming from. Some people are like, hey, he needs to be out there. He's making a lot of money. He needs to be out there on that field. Then other people are like, hey, no, you can't rush him. Because he is making a lot of money, true. But that's such a big investment. You don't want to rush that and then end up ruining his career forever. Some people feel like, hey, the Ravens should just bite the bullet, take the dead cap hit, and just cut Ronnie Stanley and move on. Then I've seen a lot of people talking about, oh, the, the Ravens, hey, it's time to start looking at tackles early on in the draft next offseason. Uh, so it, it's, it's been a lot uh, of back and forth about Ronnie Stanley. Uh, but I was really hoping that this week uh, would be the week where he could eventually, well, he could, where he could come back. Um, so we'll wait. Uh, maybe maybe the Bills game will be it. Uh, we'll see. But well, Ronnie Stanley is so tricky, man. It, it's, it's very tricky, and we just it's one of those things we just don't know. And like we always talk about, we won't know until we know, until we actually see him trotting out there. Um, now, somebody else who I also thought was going to play this Sunday, even if it was 
in limited fashion. JPP. Jason Pierre Paul. Uh, Jason Pierre Paul, it was announced that the Ravens signed him to a one year, uh, was it a 4.5? I mean, a 5.5 million dollar deal total, I think. I think it's 5.5 mil. But whatever it is, uh, it's like the, the base of the, the deal is like 1.5 mil, something like that. And then the, the incentives are like 4 mil. Um, I think it's like 5 mil, 5.5 mil, somewhere around there. Uh, but that's obviously a lot of incentives. And again, we explained about the incentives, um, how that works. If, I'm sure it's going to be a number of sacks, maybe playing time, something like that. Um, but if he hits those incentives, hey, great, that means good job. Good job, JPP. If he doesn't hit the, the incentives, then it makes the deal like closer, a lot closer to the 1.5 mil. So that's that. But um, he is not officially a Raven yet. So he will not be playing uh, in this Patriots game. Um, the Ravens, they did announce the, the signing, but they announced the signing pending a physical. So as long as he passes the physical, then he should be good to go. Um, now, I remember when, when I first saw that announcement from Ravens, I said, Ooh, OK, you, you, you're going to announce this even uh, pending a physical. He ain't passed the physical yet. Um, and it just it just reminded me of uh, Zadarius Smith. So I made sure I tweeted that to, to Ravens fans so I could give them that nice reminder, too. Of Zadarius Smith, even though the actual Ravens themselves, they never announced the Zadarius Smith deal. Um, Cause you know, with free agency, that's uh, there, there's that the annoying period where you, the reporters, they announce the deals, but the teams don't officially announce the deals until actual free agency starts. It is, and I don't really like using this word, but it is probably the dumbest thing in free agency. Oh, we're going to do a, a, legal, a legal tampering period for two days. And then after that, then free agency officially starts. It's like, what is the point? There is no point in the legal tampering period. That, that, there's no point in that at all. It's like, what do you, oh, we're going to give these guys a, these guys can come agree to deals with teams, but they can't sign them yet. They're not official yet. They can't sign them yet. Um, so maybe we'll give them a couple days to decide if they really want to go. It's just, it doesn't make any sense at all. Like none. Uh, but anyway, um, and JK Dobbins, JK Dobbins is another one. Uh, John Harbaugh, very iffy, uh, on JK Dobbins status. Uh, he was very noncommittal on JK Dobbins status. Felt like he was trolling a little bit on JK Dobbins status, but if I had to guess, I would think he would play. I mean, we won't, we'll find out tomorrow at 11.30. Um, but, yeah, if I had to guess, I would think that this would be where he plays. But um, if he doesn't, then I don't know. Then I, I won't know what's going on with Jake. I mean, I don't know what's going on with J.K. Dobbins. But you would think, like, all right, it's like, it's week three. And it's like, all right, um, Ravens are one and one. No reason to panic or anything yet. But we, there were a little couple opportunities in the run game that they missed. Because of running backs, because uh, there, there was a little lack of vision, a little bit. But um, it's like you you want to get that guy out there, man. And I understand. I know last year, how about he he been saying, hey, last year don't got nothing to do with uh, how we doing stuff. That, mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. But I know last year scarred Ravens. But with J.K. Dobbins, it's like if he's ready, he's ready. And it's, you ain't got to have him out there the whole game. He could just ease him back in and start easing him back in. He's not on injury reserve, so you, are, you obviously felt some type of way about his recovery. He's been practicing in full, not limited. So that's that. That's where it starts. So, all right, let's, let's get it. Let, and it wouldn't be rushing him because you ain't playing the first two games. So might as well. But anyway, so that's that. Um, so no JPP, no Ronnie Stanley. Um, and with J.K. Dobbins, status is up in the air. So, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And we out.